everybody get your pen and pencils out we are doing an eyebrow class today hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you guys how to get your brows in shape I actually have made so many freaking mistakes and I change my brow shape literally every other week it depends on which way my brows feel like going that day brows take such a long time I have gotten so many requests to do this video I'm gonna show you all the do's and don'ts that I feel that I've learned throughout the years brows are hard brows are just a tricky thing for a lot of us so we are gonna go through it I'm gonna show you some do's and don'ts keep doing what you love doing but if you notice some of the don'ts that you are doing then maybe try the do side and I think that your brow is gonna look so good some of you guys may just do all the do's some of you guys may do all the don'ts let me know below how many do's versus the don'ts that you do because sometimes I still do the don'ts so if you want to learn how to get your brows on fleek then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family and without further ado let's get on with the video Let's do our brows. Don't number one. Brushing your eyebrow hair in the wrong direction. If you brush this way, which is something that I did all the time, it lays your hairs straight down in the direction that they should go, but then they always fall downwards, especially the tail end for me. So what you do want to use is a clear brow gel. For the do side, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. This is one of my favorite, favorite clear brow gels to use. It comes in this little tube like this. It has these little ridges right here that just pull and pick up every strand of hair. So I just take out a little bit. I tap it on my hand and then I work it into all of the little ridges. And then what I do is I brush upward. It makes your brows look fuller, gives your brow more of texture, and helps you create those fine natural hair strokes. And they're so easy to fill in when they're going straight up like that. Number two, do not use the wrong brush. Now you're thinking, if it says brow brush, then I can't be using the wrong brush because it says brow brush. But actually, there's so many brow, brow brushes out there that are way too thick for your brows. I'm gonna give you an example of this brow brush right here. This is the one of the don't brushes, and I say that because it looks great this way, but when I turn it on its side, look how thick this brushes you are gonna get the thickest lines in your brows I'm brushing this way and I'm also gonna brush upwards you see that this is actually a brow brush too thick I don't recommend thick brow brushes like this they just don't really do much for you they actually make it easier for you to mess up and get way too much product on your brow so this thick brow brush is a don't on the do side I am using a thin narrow brush now this is actually not a brow brush this is a winged liner brush this is one that i recently found and absolutely love and you'll notice that a lot of winged liner brushes are amazing for your brows this is why if i turn it on its side it literally disappears it creates the most fine lines super super thin little brow hair strokes and it works amazing and i think dose of colors just gets it because even though they call it a wing liner brush, it still has a nice spoolie at the bottom so you can comb through your brow hairs. This is the supposed brow brush right here and compare it to this wing liner brush. How crazy is it? Numero tres. Do not use something that is way too dark for your hair. You don't want to go in with a super dark color and then bam, you have sharpie eyebrows. If your eyeliner is the same color as your brow color, we need to start over again. Instead, what you want to do is either use a pencil like this. Um, it depends on the mood I'm in that day. I'll either use a pencil. This one is from Anastasia. This is the Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. Or I'll use just a powder. For those of you who don't want to use too many products and you just want to kind of a quick brow, the brow pencils are the easiest because it's just like a one-step process and you're done. The brow powder does allow you to have more of a natural looking brow, so that's why I kind of like using that one first. So what I'll do is I'll use a product that is two shades lighter than my natural hair color. The Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit, you guys see me use this all the time. I'm just gonna take this shade right here, mix in a little bit of that dark shade, just a little, just literally a tap like that. Number four. You don't want to start at the very front of your brow and create this box. The box is not our friend. I 
have really long brow hairs in the front so it's very easy to create that box to be honest and it's very hard not to create the box but what you want to do is start in the arch and then lightly feather back the strokes to the tail end once we're finished then we can move up to this guy right here the number five don't is don't draw a fluid line starting from the very front of your brow all the way to the tail end you want to go in with a very light hand and use feather-like strokes. Always want to feather in your brows because this is going to give you the most natural look. If you do one fluid line, you are going to have sharpie eyebrows, a little bit harder to come back from, and you end up just looking way too So harsh. the next don't is carving out your brows. I'm a fan of it. I think it looks clean and beautiful, but there is a certain shade that you should be using. So you don't want to use something like this. This is super bright white. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is use a shade that is similar to your under eye concealer. I like a pretty bright under eye and that's fine if you go a few shades lighter than that for the bottom half of the brow. If you're one of those people that like a little bit more drama to your brows and you want to carve out the top as well, I would go with a darker shade of concealer. This is medium, something that's very similar to your foundation if you're one of those people that like to carve out the tops of your brows. But if you want to do the bottom, you can get away with using your normal under eye concealer. Just make sure that that it isn't this bright. And make sure you go through your brows with the spoolie so that you don't have any patchy spots and you don't have any really harsh parts of your brow that you don't want there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know below what do's and don'ts you are currently doing. I wanna know, I am nosy. I'm obsessed with you guys and I read all your comments. So let me know in the comments below. And if you missed some other videos, they're gonna be over to the side. You wanna check them out. Before you guys go, I wanna let you know there's only one of you and you are very special. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. And until the next video, bye dolly. I am wearing these. I never grew up.